Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Today we're continuing to look at 1 John 4, and we're picking it up in verse 17, New King James. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. The Passion Translation says, by living in God, which means in his word, being born again, by living in God, love has brought to its full expression in us so that we may fearlessly face the day of judgment. Why? Why can we fearlessly face the day of judgment? Hey, people, this is not talking about the great white throne judgment. This is not talking about the end of time judgment. This is talking about right now, here and now, in this world. People are talking about being judged saying God's judging America, God's judging these nations. God put all the judgment on his son, Jesus, and he is not doing any judging until the end of the world, until the great white throne judgment where he decides, if you've made Jesus Lord of your life, you're going to heaven. If not, you're going to hell. He is not judging the world. That judgment, I can face judgment fearlessly. When Satan comes and says, you have got to be sick. You have got to be poor. You did this wrong. You did that wrong. All I have to do is fearlessly say, Jesus bore that for me. He took that judgment for me. In the name of Jesus, I say, Satan, stop in your maneuvers now. I am not going to be judged with sickness and disease. See, that knowing how much God loved me and what he did for me gets rid of that fear completely. Because when you fear, you're afraid of punishment. I'm fearful of this COVID-19. I'm fearful of these diseases because, well, I might have missed it. I might have done it wrong. Jesus paid the price for you to be free. It says in the King James, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. And the, the passion says, um, verse eight, the end of verse 18, love never brings fear. For fear is always related to punishment. So when you're walking in the love of God, but love's perfection drives the fear of punishment far from our hearts. Whoever walks constantly afraid of punishment has not reached love's perfection. Again, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. We're talking about how to get rid of fear. The way you get rid of fear is asking Holy Spirit to give you a revelation of how much God loves you. It's not talking about you walking perfectly in love. None of us can. So don't let Satan deceive you and say, well, you have to fear and, and you might get this sickness because of punishment because you didn't walk in love yesterday. No. The love it's talking about here is knowing how much your Heavenly Father loves you. He loved you so much he gave Jesus for you. So the fear, it comes when you don't really know how much God loves you. As I said, ask Holy Spirit. Well, I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I ask you to give the listeners an understanding of the love of God, that the eyes of their understanding is enlightened, and they may know and understand how much their Heavenly Father loves them. And then there is no place for fear. Thank you.